Well, the champion soared across the blue courts in star turns at the Australian Open. Stars will shine walking the red carpet coming up later this month at the annual Academy Awards. And tennis and film are two of our favorite pastimes here at Tennis Now. So we're going to partner the two together and put it in our art form. So pull out the popcorn and put your feet up. Here we go. Today, we're going to present a mashup of Oz and Oscars with our 2017 Tennis Now Academy Awards. We're going to start with Roger Federer, who reigned in Melbourne, winning his 18th Grand Slam crown. Hollywood had a hand scripting Roger's blockbuster comeback down under. A year ago, Roger was a very regal figure walking the red carpet at the 2016 Academy Awards. Well, on that walk, Roger stopped for the shot heard round Hollywood, toasting to the top spot with a shot of tequila. To be number one. Back, getting back to number one. It starts like that. Um, expect that. That was a strong one. Toasting our 2017 award winners, we start with the best solo dance performance by a woman. Yulia Putinseva stars in Pure Euphoria. Her fans call her Poots. Best solo performance by a woman off court, the one and only Serena Williams. Best dance performance by a duo or a group goes to Australian Open doubles champs, Bethany Maddox-Sands and Lucy Safarova who also swept the best choreography category with this unforgettable celebration. <laughs> best musical performance by a duo or group goes to both Alexander Zarev and Roger Federer for their bongo battle at the Hopman Cup. And to the boy band known as Not In Sync, Grigor Dimitrov, Tommy Haas, and Federer for their performance of this Chicago classic. After all that we've been through, I will make it up to you. And best men's upset. The Academy was deadlocked here, so we have dual winners. 117th ranked wildcard, Dennis Istomin shocked six-time champion Novak Djokovic in round two. In an impeccable serve and volley display, Misha Zarev dissected world number one Andy Murray in the fourth round and credited his mom for helping him close the biggest win of his career. Uh, I immediately looked at my mom because she always smiles when I miss those balls. So, uh, and, and she did smile again and then that helped me a little bit. Best women's upset, the pride of Charleston, Shelby Rogers toppled fourth seeded Simona Halep in the first round. 1998 Australian Open's doubles champion Mirjana Lucic Baroni wins this award for upsetting two of the top five seeds. Mariana defeated Agarodwanska in the second round and then surprised U.S. Open finalist Karolina Pliskova to reach the semifinals 18 years after her last major semifinal at Wimbledon. What do you know? Mariana also delivered one of the most moving post-match speeches of the tournament. But um, I never could dream about being here again. And this is just... <laughs> I will never, ever, ever forget this day and this uh, last couple of weeks. This has truly made my life and everything that everything bad that happened, it has made it okay. And, and just the fact that I was this strong and that it was worth fighting this hard is really incredible. Best starring performance by a woman. This award goes to 35-year-old Serena Williams, who did not drop a set, winning her Open Era Record 23rd Grand Slam title to regain the world number one ranking. Best starring performance by a man? Well, the maestro, of course, Roger Federer, who fought past his rival Rafa Nadal to win his 18th Grand Slam title and our award. Best breakout performance by a woman? Ooh, this one goes to Coco Vandeweghe. Coco crushed world number one and reigning champion Angelique Kerber and then dominated reigning Roland Garros champion Garbina Muguruza, reaching her very first major semifinal. Classiest performance by champions Venus Williams and Rafa Nadal, who inspired the sports world with their very gracious speeches after the final. 
Today, uh, I think, was a, was a great match. Uh, probably Roger deserved a little bit more than me, so I just... Uh, I just gonna keep trying. No, I I feel that I am I am back at the at very high level. So I I gonna keep fighting during the the whole season to have fun. Congratulations, Serena, on number 23. I have been right there with you. Some of them I lost right there against you. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's weird, but it's true. And. <laughs> And the best Grand Slam fans in the world, no one celebrates our sport like the Aussies do. Best supporting cast? Well, that's the Federer family box. Wife Mirka coaches Severin Luthi and Ivan Lubicic, and the children of Federer's agent, Tony Godsick, exerted plenty of positive energy, helping Roger rally past Rafa in the fifth set of that final. And finally, best kiss to cap an epic adventure. Well, the king and his queen. Gotta love it. Hope you had fun. That's our news for now, everybody. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.